Nigeria now shares sovereignty with terrorists due to Buhari's failure. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Mr. Yochia Ayu, has accused the administration of President Muhammad Buhari of abdicating responsibility of protecting the country and alleged that the president is now sharing the country's sovereignty with terrorists. Well, <laughs> this is not new because uh, about last two months, two months ago or three months ago, we were told that these terrorists, oh, okay, then they were still bandits. These bandits, they, they went to Sokoto and some parts of Niger State and they captured Sokoto and these people removed village chiefs put their own leaders amongst them, then started collecting tax. After one month of collecting this tax, they came up with about 61 million naira. So what is it? It means this man has licensed that part of the country to them by his inactions and his inability to tackle the issue of insecurity in the country. That is just it. So... I will quite agree that he has shared the sovereignty of Nigeria with these people, just as this elite said. Now the news in detail. Are you gave the skater remarks on Friday during the inauguration of a new National Working Committee, NWC of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Abuja. In his brutal assessment of a security situation of the country, Ayo uh, said Nigeria has been bent over by kidnappers who now see kidnapping for ransom as big business. He lamented that Nigeria today shares sovereignty with terrorists who kidnap and rape our women, including our mothers and underage children. He added that the terrorists even kill them when ransom is delayed. These are not political alarms but statements of facts. Are you basically in the success of a party's recently conducted national convention is expected to instill discipline, internal party democracy and justice in the administration of a party? While acknowledging the audio tax ahead is spent ample time as swaying Buhari's alleged failure, which manifests in terrorism, kidnapping, unemployment, recessions and general maladministration. He, however, said the tax is to return the party to the people. But to do that, he said, the party needs to be reinvigorated, reinvented, and repositioned. We are not unmindful of our missteps and actions in the past, but we have learned our lessons both in government and in opposition. Today, we stand tall and with a firm resolve to rebuild our great party and rescue our nation. He pointed out that the PDP is only organic political party in Nigeria that has remained a credible, tested, tasted, and trusted mass movement since the return of democracy in 1999, tagging other political parties to have either fizzled away or merged with others. He said some have mutated into a contraption like the ruling All Progressive Congress APC without any clear ideology or a coherent program of action. According to him, this contraction or progressive Congress APC seduced Nigerians with propaganda in 2015. Today, Nigerians have seen the limit of propaganda and demagoguery. The only thing the all-progressive Congress APC is doing successfully is irresponsible borrowing. On the contrary, he said the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has a history of performance and legacy achievement. In our 16 years in power, we not only give Nigerians good governance, we also give fractured democratic institutions so as to add value to the people. In an unprecedented move, we stabilize our democracy by sanitizing the armed forces of politically exposed officers. We gave Nigeria her first ever successful transition from one civilian administration to another in 2007. Successful transition from one civilian administration to another in 2007. 
Through disbelief of all watchers of African politics, we willingly considered defeat in 2015 and handed over power to an opposition party in 2015. He said it was the PDP federal government that created value-adding public institutions like the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, ICPC, NAFDAC, NAFDAC, the Debt Management Office, DMO, the Bureau for Public Procurement, BPP, among many others. The People's Democratic Party administration also strengthened the governance process by enacting laws to effectively drive public administration in Nigeria, namely the Fiscal Responsibility Act, the Midterm Expenditure Framework, the Treasury Single Accounts, TSA, Integrated Personal and Payroll Information Systems, IPPIS, just to mention but a few. He further pointed out that while the People's Democratic Party negotiated and obtained forgiveness of over $30 billion worth of debt, making Nigeria almost a debt-free country, the all-progressive Congress government has sunk Nigeria into more debt. He said the all-progressive Congress has given the country two recessions and turned Nigeria into the poverty capital of the world, adding that today 40 million Nigerians have no jobs. According to him, in the last six years, the APC-led government has mismanaged our diversity, divided the country along regional and religious lines. It has exacerbated religious tensions in the country. And through its marriage to nepotism, the incompetent APC federal government is fueling secessionist agitations in the east and the west of Nigeria. He said, Nigeria is drifting dangerously toward a failed state. Terrorists are now sharing sovereignty with Nigeria. Nigeria is simply ungoverned. Nigeria is collapsing under the leadership of a retired general. The all-progressive Congress APC used both the mainstream media and the social media to have sex power. Today, it coordinates a systematic assault on the media, civil freedom, and freedom of speech. Let me give you the grim legacy of the all-progressive Congress. Two economic recessions in six years, a sluggish GDP growth rate of below 2%, he added. He noted that about 40 million Nigerians have been pushed into extreme poverty, in six years, why inflation is at an all-time high at 18%. He further pointed out that the current administration has created a weak and devalued Naira, devalued by over 300% since 2015 and has made Nigerian currency the worst in Africa. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.